What's up? I'm Trizzy. For the next three months, I'll be sharing weekly my life around training. I'll be racing on the Great Wall of China. So we went to Chachramu again the other day. The manager hit me up on Yelp and wanted to give us two free drinks. I bought this because I've been wanting to buy this. So beautiful. Let it dance. Morning, just getting ready for my long run. This is the week of travel after my long run. I'll be packing, doing more vlog work, doing more podcast work, trying to prep the itinerary for the trip. 60 minutes, long run, done. Felt great. I feel like taking two days off and then doing a long run. It makes my body feel energetic, light, and bouncy. Shout out to the shoes. Still got good grips on these, so it'll take me through the Great Wall of China. <laughs> to be a 15 minute recovery run. Since I haven't been doing a lot of incline, I'm gonna to use today to incorporate that. I know they did a lot of renovations to the Culver City stairs, but it's nice and there's like a new path I didn't realize. I should have been trail running and practicing there. Oh my God. What? Beautiful sight. It's really cool where the mood placement is because it feels like I'm climbing these stairs to touch the moon. I was able to do four today. Uh, but back home, I'm gonna fill up cold shower and pack and get my things ready for the trip. It's a mess right now, but that's because we are starting to pack and it's gonna be hard to figure out which clothes to bring because the weather is very, very cold at night, but comfortably warm during the day. I think I got most of everything that I will need. Now I just gotta fold them, pack them in, and hope that they all fit. We're learning some Here Mandarin some right now. Phrases. First learning Chinese, it can feel like everyone is speaking so fast. Yes. When that happens, you can say, yeah. <laughs> she, she, this ain't beginner. At this point, I'm a mess. We leave tomorrow night. And one big thing that I need to do, and I should have looked into this sooner, my fault, I need to unlock my phone so I could get an eSIM with a different carrier when I'm in China. <sighs> I hope whoever decides to go to China does not run into all these problems. And I will do my best to solve all this for you. Guinea pig right here.
And today is supposed to be a 38 minute speed run. I'm really not in the mood. What I might do is I'll just maybe do a little jump roping. The time is midnight, 1213. And I'm currently transferring footage onto hard drives, backing up hard drives, charging device batteries. Please note that if you have an Apple iPhone, you cannot unlock it until your phone is completely paid out. If you have a Samsung, you don't have to pay, you don't have to have that phone paid off. They'll just unlock it for you. I have to back up my phone, do a factory reset. After that's done, re-download everything onto my phone. I'll see that my phone has been unlocked and I could start using the eSIM. I just wasn't thinking this through. I never really get eSIMs when I'm traveling because I have T-Mobile and they have coverage in 200 plus countries but china is a different beast it's a different animal and i just wasn't thinking it through we went ahead and chose ola fly as our e-sim carrier because they also have a vpn so it's like a two-in-one great reviews and the reviews were saying that it's reliable in china i've never paid for an e-sim before so i'm not sure if it is a good price or not but for 16 days we we're gonna pay about 50 something dollars for an e-sim VPN unlimited data. You let me know if that's a good price or not. And if you are interested in using Olafly on your next trip, there's a 5% discount code in the description below. Tomorrow or aka today, it, I'm supposed to be doing a seven mile long run. <sighs> I don't know if that's gonna be the case. I'm so tired. I really, really want to sleep right now. Ooh, look at my morning hair. It's amazing, right? Um, I have made no progress with backing up my phone. T-Mobile said it was a must that I factory reset, but when I checked back on the status of my eSIM, it has changed to unrestricted, unlocked. And another thing that I realized, I'm not gonna bring my drone. Uh, there's just too many restrictions in the two big cities that will be in Beijing and Shanghai. There's a chance that Beijing security can confiscate it at the airport. And I don't need that. I don't need that anxiety. We just did a marathon going to our gate. <laughs> Your walk since I skipped out like seven miles. Thank you. 